so I'm back. We're gonna do Pilates. This would be my 12-15 at Evolve if it was a regular day. So we're trying to keep it as normal and as regular as I can. Um, and if you're not an Evolve member, hey, you're getting the benefit of an extra workout today. Or you can always do this later. It'll be saved on my uh, Facebook page and I also will upload it to YouTube later today. And my YouTube is the kids old channel. It's C-A-M-J-A-M-2349. Um, so I have videos up there. Hey Bonnie. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do a Pilates. We're actually gonna start standing. Um, I have my weighted yoga balls. I have my five pound weights. I have water bottles and I also have my ball. If you don't have a ball, you can always use a yoga block. You don't really need anything. Um, I also found one of my bands that's broken. It's gonna work perfectly. And again, if you don't have a band, no worries. You can use a towel just to hold yourself steady and still. And you can always pull against the towel. So there's always options that you can utilize if you don't have the weights. So um, I'm gonna restart my music. Please let me know if you can't hear me or if the music's too loud. I am gonna restart this mix. And I'm kind of psyched because it's literally uh, like a mix that I would usually use. And it's allowed for streaming. So I have music that's licensed for streaming for my cardio classes. Um, it's not top 40 music, but it, hey, it's got a good beat. Anyway, I'm gonna go over, reset. And again, um, thumbs up if everything's good. And anything other than thumbs up or a heart if you can't hear me or if you need me to adjust something. Um, I really can't read the chat once I step over. I will check the chat. But with that said, let's get started. So again, you're gonna start standing. And my music is over here. All right, so we're gonna start standing. So I want you to stand at the back edge of your mat, shoulders over your hips. Can you see me? And we're just gonna inhale and exhale. Normal breath, inhale and exhale. You wanna feel your ribs expanding laterally, not lifting up and down. Your shoulders should not shrug. So go ahead and inhale. And then exhale's out. Hips over the knees, over the heels. And exhale's out. Let's inhale, float the arms just to the parallel to the floor, and then right back down. And again, inhale just to your shoulders, and then exhales down. Plant those feet, dig deep into that mat, and again, inhale up, and exhales down. Now this time, if you're able, let's take them all the way up and over the head, and then exhales down. If it's too much on your shoulders, keep them where it feels comfortable, and exhales down. Good. And again, inhale up. Exhales out. One more time like this, we're going to start to roll down. Now when you roll down, I want you to curl from your fingertips and then the palms and then diving under. So I'm going to start to contract my rib to my hip, soften up my knees as I come down, touch my toes, and I'm going to slowly reverse, coming right back up. I'm coiling that spine, shoulders up and around and back. Inhale up. Curl for the fingertips, exhaling down, softening up the knees if you need to, and then slowly coming back up. One vertebrae at a time, shoulders roll up and around and back, and do it again. Inhales up. Curl from the fingertips, exhale and roll down. And then slowly bring it back up. So let's just take a normal inhale, exhale, give me a little baby squat, let those arms shift back. Good, so you're just gonna go natural right now. We're a little slower, not really natural. Exhale, palms to the ceiling. And you're bending those knees, sitting back to the hips. Good, and again, exhale all that air out, and inhales up. Now we're gonna start to make this a little bit more dynamic, so I want you to imagine, just throw away whatever's bothering you, throw it away. Inhale, exhale, <sighs> inhale, exhale. <sighs> now if you'd like to, you can lift those heels. It feels a little funky when you're down. Exhale. If it doesn't work for you, don't take it. Exhale. Good. One more time here. Now, I want you to lift up. Exhale. Roll down. Touch your toes. We're going to walk out. Come out to your plank. Good. Settle in. Pause here. Make sure your shoulders over your wrist. 
push those heels back. Take a breath and inhale. Exhale into your down dog. On your next exhale, come back down into your plank. Pause and hold. One more time on the exhale, lift into your down dog. And again, exhaling down to your plank. And you're gonna drop your knees and you're gonna sit back. Exhale. Now to the inhale, and we're just rounding forward. Really rock out. Rib to the hip, navel to spine. Keep that chin tucked. And exhale. Good, good, good. And exhale. Good. And exhale, stay rounded. Now give me two more here for staying rounded. And now I should have neutralized your spine and bring it all the way down for a push up and push back. Good, exhale as you push back, inhale as you come down. Inhale here, exhale back. Good, two more. Take it back. One more time and then go ahead and stay back. Now, drag your fingertips back, rounding out. Bring them all the way up to your thighs, up and around the back. Flip it over into your booty. Good. All right, so we're gonna slowly roll down here. Slowly roll down. Bring those knees up to tabletop. I'm gonna flip this here. Bringing your knees up to tabletop. Right over your hips. Arms here. We'll lift this up, get the chin high, over the chest, flex the feet, open the toes, and start your 100. Inhaling and exhaling for five. Squeeze those thighs together, zip them up. Imagine those heels are on the end of maybe an ottoman or a chair. Four more breaths. Breath is choppy or smooth. Really press that belly down, hollowing out, scooping out those abs. One more breath. Blow all that air out, 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 out. And you're gonna pause. Turn your palms in, thumbs up, point the toes, separate those legs. If you need to, you can put the head down, or if you have a ball, you can place the ball at the top of the shoulders. And you're just gonna tap the right foot and the left foot. Good. Now you're not bending the knee to touch the floor. You're sliding it right out of that hip socket. Arms are still reaching. Good, and again. All right. And left, doesn't matter if you're going left, right, like I am. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Good, good, I'm used to facing you and trying to do mirror image. Good, four more here. Hollow out that belly. Scoop it out, press that back down deep into the floor. Good, 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 and pause here. Now, let's take the opposite arm, opposite leg. Good. Reach it just to the ceiling. Now it's going to be hard to stop that arm. It's going to want to go all the way over the head. Don't let it. Don't let it. Waking up that core. Four more. Three. Two. One more. Good. Then go ahead and give it a hug. Bring them in. And just walk side to side. Perfect. Now you're going to roll those knees around a little circle. Perfect. And now let's shoot those legs straight up in the air. Point the toes, arms again beside the hips. Now, I want you to roll up, rock up, curl up. Get that chin high, roll the chest again. Lift those arms six inches off the floor. Now, roll those knees away from each other so the heels sit together. Drop the legs. Where can you do another 100? So to pump those arms. Inhale and exhale. Inhale five, exhale five. Really scoop out those abs. Imagine the cat of the dog laying on the belly, pushing it down. Any stress in that neck, please grab that ball. Good, again. Halfway there. Three more breaths. Two more. One more time. Roll that air out, hug them in, roll them around the little circle, your head goes down. And then reverse those circles. All right, let's drop both legs down, take your palms right beside your hips on the floor, contract your shoulder blades, take an inhale. As you exhale, hollow out, scoop out, then lift the hips up. Push those hips deep up to the sky, and then inhale back down. 
But again, exhale, hollow like that, scoop out first, and then lift up to the high knee, squeeze in the hips, and then back down. And again, exhale, hollow out, lift, press the squeeze, and inhales down. Just two more here, guys. Exhale, hollow out. right leg up a tabletop, little circles inward. Everything stays steady and still, just circling this leg out of that hip socket, heart point to the toe. Good, four more. Three, two, and one, pause and reverse. Try to stay within the lines, don't go outside those lines. Four, three, two, and one. Now pause here, lengthen that leg, keep the knee towards the, the chest, little circles again. Try not to let the rest of the body move. Press those palms down. Good. Now your head should be down flat. Hopefully you can see me from where you're at. No stress in the necks. And then pause and reverse the circles. So you want to keep the rest of the body stabilized, stationary, and still. Good. Pause here. Now, let's send that left leg long and away. Hard point. Hip stack, squeeze to the high knee. Neutralize. Little circles again. Inside. Try to see how straight you can make that leg. And now pause and reverse. Press those arms down, let them help you stay stabilized. And now you're gonna pause. Now, twisting the leg so the knee is now turned outward. It's no longer straight on, it's outward. Little circles again. So as soon as you rotated that leg, you should have felt that inner thigh and that outer thigh connect. Favorite phrase in the whole wide world, finish my sentence, is what? Slice and dice. And now pause and reverse those circles. So by rotating that knee out, you're demanding that the inner thigh, the outer thigh, work with the quad and the hand. Good. And now pause. So we're going to set this up right now for our traditional single leg circles. So if there was a mirror on the ceiling, the leg comes across, goes down, and comes back up. Palms down, and here we go. Come across, come down, up one. Cross, come down, up two. Cross, down, up three. This is a staple. Four. Five, good, six, perfect, seven, one more time, and now reverse it, go down, cross and up, so down, cross the ankle, and a little arc to come back up, keep that knee turned out, inhale, exhale back around, three, and four, keep those ribs to the next, keep that neutral, steady and still, good, two more, and one last time. Perfect. Give it a hug. Pull the other leg in. Go to work side to side. Release any tension just in case. And I'll drop the right leg down. Send the left leg to tabletop first. Little circles inward. Good. Palms are down. Neutralize the spine. And then pause and reverse those circles. So you're utilizing the powerhouse, the abs, the back, the glutes, the in and outer thighs, the quads, the hands, to keep steady and still. Pause here, and lengthen that leg straight up, keep the knee towards your chest, little circles inward. And again, you wanna to try to stay inside the lines of those little circles, and imagine you're drawing them right on the ceiling. Perfect, and now let's pause and reverse. Can you lengthen out, can you lock that knee? Four more, three, two, and one, pause. Let's send this right leg long and away. Keep those hips stacked and steady. Squeeze the high knee. Hips are stacked. Rib to the hip, nail to the spine. Same little circles. The knee is still towards my chest. Just making it harder. Just asking that body to work a little harder with every natural progression. Good. And then pause and reverse. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Pause. Now I'm going to twist some. Now my knee, there's a laser beam here. It's way outside here, not towards my chest. Little circles again. So again, why do we turn it out? We go into that first position. It demands the inner thigh, the outer thigh, work with the quad and the ham to lengthen, strengthen, slice and dice, and pause and reverse. Good. Nice. Three, two, and one. Pause. Now the traditional single leg circle. You're gonna come across, come down, and come up one. Cross, come down, lock those hips, two, and three. Keep that knee 
turned out. And four, five, hard exhalation on the return. Six, good, seven, and one more. Now reverse it immediately. Come down, cross it up. Down, cross, little arc to come back. Reach that leg along the way. How hard can you point that toe? How locked up can you get that knee? Four more to go. Four. Good. Three. Two more here. One more time. Good. And bring it in. Little circles around. And then reverse those circles. Again, so there's some staples that we have in our Pilates. Sequencing. Hug them in. Good. All right, so now we get into that nasty roll-up. We get rid of the ball. So on your roll-up, if you have a hard time coming all the way up, all you need to do is you can either just hold here with your crunch or you can walk up the outer sides of the thighs. So, all right, let's start flat, hip stack and steady, squeeze the hind pointed toes. Activate those quads, shoulders down. Take those arms right over your shoulders. Now you're gonna inhale over your head. Now I want you to exhale, and as you do, tuck your chin, Peel yourself up and off that floor, hung well up and over, and then slowly come back down. Super slow. One vertebrae at a time comes back down. Go as slow as you possibly can. And then you're going to pause at the ceiling and you're going to go again. Inhale over the head. Exhale, lift, tuck and peel. Hollow it out. Reach over. Try to stay off your thighs. Good. And then slowly coming back down. How are we doing? I know, we need a way to interact without touching the screen. Inhale over the head. Exhale, lift, tuck, and peel. Hollow it out, reaching up and over. Good, and again, slowly coming down. And again, up and over on your inhale. Don't let the ribs come off the hips. Don't let the back arch. Lots of don'ts. Good. And let's do one more here. Good. Now I want you to pick these up. Four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now you can drop that chest right on your thighs. Exhales up. Point those toes. Don't worry, we'll have a time to reset. Come on, do it again. more. Exhales up, round it over. One more time. Good. And you're going all the way down. Good. Hug those knees in. Little on side to side. All right. Now find those hands. Find underneath the knees. Pull the knees in. And I want you to roll like a ball. Roll like a ball. So you got to keep that chin tucked. Don't do a somersault. You can utilize those legs. We're going to do two more. Now, finish this next one and come up and hold. Now, this next one we come up and we sit. So I want you to hold, find your sit bones, hollow out those abs. Make sure the belly's pulled in and upward. Shoulders are rounded. Good. And then we're going to let go of those arms. Let them go right outside those thighs for now. Right outside the thighs. Stay here, rocking the ribs. Now we're gonna open and close. Open and close. The insides of my feet are touching. Four, five. If you need to put the hands down, put the hands down. Good, two more. Good, one more time. Now just squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Lift the arms up. Stay rounded slightly. Now lift the chest, but don't arch your back. Oh, find that steady. Find that steady. Separate the legs. Now let's step down right to left. Right, left. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Now you're going to sit up nice and tall for me. Arms end up right in front of your shoulders. Can you see me all? So, sheet of steel is the spine. Point the toes. Knees are straight up to the ceiling. Shoulders right over your hips. So, spine stretch forward. I want you to inhale, contract your shoulder blades back. And I want you to exhale, separate the shoulder blades, let the ribs melt right into the hips, belly button in and upward. So it looks like I'm reaching forward. I'm allowing my shoulder blades to do all this work. 
Exhale, so I'm just melting into my belly, melting the ribs into the hips, and then I'm pulling back. Good, and again, exhale, empty out the ribs, and then inhale, pull back. Good, 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 and again, exhale, and inhale, pull back. Let's just do that one more time, because this one feels pretty good. Good, and then pull it back. Exhale, bring the arms down. Go ahead, shake those legs out. Shake those legs out. All right, so now, if you have that band, if not, maybe if you have a towel, you're gonna sit up nice and tall. I know, I shouldn't be touching my face. I keep touching my face. I wash my hands and I have my Lysol Clorox wipes behind me. My hands are not touched, they're usually not too far away. So, now, you can use a band, you can use a towel. I just want you to straighten out those arms, shoulders down, around and back. So, all I want you to do is open, pull, contract the shoulder blades slightly release. Now, I'm squeezing my booty, pointing my toes, pressing the back of my legs deep into the floor, and I'm just opening and closing. So if you have a towel, it will stretch a little bit, and it will release a little bit. Try to keep your arms super straight, knuckles facing away from you, shoulders directly over those hips like you're sitting against a wall. Good, and again, exhale as you open, inhale as you close. Good, and again, inhale as you open, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then exhale. Two more times here. Spot, and I want you to slowly start to roll. Point the toes even harder. Rock the ribs to the hips. And now, round through the elbows and the wrists. From here, I want you to rock it around. And then I want you to pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then come back in the center. If you need to, you can bend your knees a little bit. Go to the other side. Rock over to the path of the side. Get that elbow way back. Now pulse it again for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back to center. Bypass center. Go back to the first side. Stay rounded. Now pulse this for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back into the center. Bypass the center. Go to the other side. How many do we pulse? 8, center, heart point to those toes, don't let go. Let's go back to the first side. How many do you think? Six, yeah. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center. I know. I feel you. Trust me. Other way. Other side. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to the center. Good. How many now? You got it. Four, three, two, and one. Bypass the center. All the way to the other side. We've got four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center. What are we at now for two? Yes. One, two. Center. And one, two. Good. Then we're going to sit up back nice and tall. Lift the arms up if you can. Now, again, if you have a towel, just pull against it. Pull against it. Now, I want you to turn away from the phone, away from whatever it is that you're watching the workout on. Stay there. Now, round down. Keep those arms lifted, keep pulling against the towel or the band, and then bring it back up. You don't have to go far. Shoulders are away from your ears. Now go the other way, turn the other way, turn towards the phone, and then roll down. Not too far, not too far. Keep pulling against that towel or the band, and lift it back up. Perfect, and then let's let it go. Release it, shake it out. All right, so we're gonna go into our side lying leg series. And again, those traditional pieces, so we're gonna do the traditional. So what I want you to do, you're gonna turn onto a side, which leg do you wanna work first? You're gonna come all the way down to your elbow, straight line from the shoulder to the elbow, and then a straight line from the head right through the tail. Now, you're gonna take those legs, cut off the corner of your mat, so you wanna feel like you're a boomerang. Lift the ribs, shoulders down, around and back, chest lifted, belly button in and up, and I want you to saran wrap, wrap it around, block this here. Take this top leg, roll the knee to the sky. They're not square, right knee to the sky, left knee to the sky. Lift up, hold, now we're gonna point and flex. Inhale and exhale down for one. Point, flex down for two, three, four, Stay lifted, don't slouch. Five, good, six, two more. 
seven. Now we're gonna shift this into second gear a little faster. One, two, three, stay lifted. Four, good, five, six, seven. What'd you say, third gear? Yes, here we go. One, two, three, keep the knee to the sky. Four, five, six, seven, one more time, and eight. Now shift it back to first, flex the foot. Lift it up slow, bring it down slow with a point. Stay lifted, don't let those ribs fall out. Imagine we're taking pictures, three. Imagine I can really see you, four, five, good, six, seven, and eight. Now keep this one pointed, give me little circles forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now reverse. What? You want a second and third gear? Sorry, not on that one. Good. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now take that toe, drag it to the knee, shoot it to the sky, flex it down for two. Stay lifted. This is when we're going to start to get tired. You're going to start to fall into the shoulder. You're going to start to fall to the floor with the ribs. Don't do it. Keep them lifted. Feel the core work. I know. Feel the inner out of the thigh. Feel the high knee. I feel you. Two more. Good. One more time. Good. Now, point those toes square the knees. Sweep them back and lift them up. Now, you can come down to your shoulder or all the way down here if you want to and prop the head. Or you can stay lifted. We're going to do the seashell or the clamp. So, you're going to open the knee and exhale close. Open the knee. Feet are lifted. Good. Heels are right about in line with the booty. Good. Four. Ribs are still lifted. Good. Five. Six. Two more. Good. Seven. And eight. Now we're going to add extension. So you're going to lift, extend, in and down for one. Extend, in and down for two. Stay lifted. If you're finding that you can't keep the ribs up, go all the way down. If you're finding it's bothering your shoulder, go all the way down. Halfway there. Three more. Yeah, how's that booty? Good, good, good. Come on. And last one here. Perfect. Now, you're going to drop this down. Flex those feet. Lift the top arm up. We're going to do a hip up from bent leg. If you want to go to plank, go to plank. So we're just going to lift it and bring it down for one. Up and down for two. Up and down for three. Good. Four. Two more. We're going to hold. We're going to thread the needle. Five. Finish this one. Now, lift this up. Thread the needle. Dive underneath the arm. Look behind you. Lift it back up and then bring it back down. Do it again. Lift it. Thread the needle. Lift it up and drop it down for two. Lift it up. Thread the needle for three. And back down. You're halfway there. Good. Lift it up. Lift it good. Two more times. Good. One more here. Good. And then bring it down. Bring the arm down. Shoot those legs out. Now, you're going to bring that top leg either behind the thigh, in front of the thigh, or you can grab the bottom of the foot. There's this camera. You can take that leg all the way up. Point that bottom leg down the bottom of the inner thigh. Touch one. Touch two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Good. Seven. And eight. Now flex the foot and do it again. One. Two. Up and down. Here we go. Up. 
Now, this is a quick little segment here. Get the shoulders over the wrist, get the knees directly underneath the hips, and a little rock will just get them in that perfect spot. So, let's take the left leg away, take the right arm out. Now, we're gonna move this away. I want you to come into a right angle with the arm, but the leg only goes as far as it can without turning the knee, and bring it back. Try not to sway. Exhale and return. Good, inhale. Exhale. Just three more here. Exhale's in. Good. Two more here. Try to keep that leg parallel on the floor. Good. good. Alright. And then just switch the arms. Bring it back into parallel first. Get it set. Right leg first. Left arm. Ready, move away. Light goes out. Doesn't have to go far. Good. Inhale as you open, exhale as you close. Good, three more to go. Two more to go. Good, one more time. Good. And then go ahead and bring it back. Round and under lose any tension and then go ahead and sit back shoulders up around and back all right so let me see what we've done so far we're going to roll back down now if you have a ball you can utilize a ball if not you can roll up a towel maybe you can grab a pillow or you can just go flat on the floor we're going to get some arm work ab work glute work now i'm just going to use my yoga balls they're about one pound so we're going to roll this down so with your hands over the weights, whatever you're going to use, shoulders down. You're going to need some line with the hips and the heels. Take a breath. And as you exhale, lift the hips up. Good. Then inhale back down. And again, exhale's up. And inhale's down. Good. Just two more here. And exhale's down. Good. One more time here. Exhale's up. And inhale's down. Perfect. Now, let's set up that left leg at tabletop. Bring the arms all the way to the sky. Contract the shoulder blades. Now your palms are facing in. You're going to answer and hang up the phone. Down for two and up for two. Heads are down. Inhale. Exhale. And again. Inhale. Exhale. Do it again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now, shoot that toe away from you. Just go to the knee as you answer the phone. Exhale, bring it right back in. Good. Reach it out. Exhale's in. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Two more here, slow. Good. Exhale's in. One more time here. Good. Now let's take six singles. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, one more time, and six. Now, pause here. Lengthen the legs straight up, turn the knee out. Now, bring the knuckles in so you're creating a little roundness on your, your chest. Pretend there's a ball on your chest. Open, close the arms, singles. Here they go. Down, and up. Squeeze the ball of the waist, whatever you have. Maybe do some long rolls. Now, in two more, this leg's going to sweep down to the knee again. Here it goes. Put the arms go full, but the leg goes half. Reach it long and away, get those stacked and steady. Now, if you have stress in your neck, keep your neck down, or you can lift it up and over here. Perfect. Just two more. Good. Last one. Perfect. Now, pause and hold here. Bring the arms down. Elbows on the floor, palms towards me. Turn that knee out and walk it here. Now, bring that leg all the way down and hover right above the floor. Hover and butt. Chest press first. Rock your ribs. Flat out the back. Here we go. Lift it up. Up. And down. Let me show your shoulder blades stay contracted to the mat. Keep them pressed down. Don't let them come off that mat. Now, let them to the sky. Up. And down. And up and down. And again, get the hips stacked and steady. Four more. 
four, three, two more here, two, last one, perfect, bring those arms down, bring them back down to the floor, right leg to tabletop, bring the arms back up, shoulders down, answer that phone, down for two, and up for two, try to get the elbows over the shoulders, don't let anything move out of your shoulders, strictly from the elbow, heads up or down,
about the shoulders and the ears, and then lift it back up nice and tall. Yeah, and bring the arms back down, and then start to roll back down wherever you get to. Slowly rounding, ripping the hip navel, the spine. Let's go over our right side this time. Throw that shoulder back, lift up the opposite leg. Hold, hold, hold. I know we have to do this twice. Why? And then drop the leg first. Come back over the center. Let's go over to your left side. Once you get there, throw the shoulder down around the back and the opposite leg up. Point that toe, keep it as straight as you can. You're rounded through. Drop the leg. Sit up. Where are those arms going? Pop it over the head. Good. Roll from here. Roll the shoulders with the ears. Boy, it's so dark outside. And then come right back up. Let's sit up nice and tall and go ahead and bring it down. Get rid of it. Now, if you have a little ball, I'm going to place it right at the top of my cheeks. I'm going to scoop out. If you don't have a ball, you can or you can go again flat on the floor. So, I'm gonna grab my towel or my band. Sorry, I just had a moment of like, what am I talking about? What am I gonna do? So, I'm gonna show you sideways here. If you do have a little ball, I believe you might be able to use like a playground ball. If you have a playground ball, those of you that have kids, grab that little playground ball. Um, they may have these at um, Walmart. I'm not sure, I'll take a look the next time I'm there. Or Target. So, right behind, and I'm gonna sit back and then look. I'm gonna squeeze. I'm gonna pinch it. So, from here, scoop me out. So, then I'm gonna grab my band again. This is just a broken um, ankle band. You know, my, my bag of tricks, my bands. And then I'm just gonna wrap it slightly so it doesn't snap on me. And I'm gonna separate it here. And I'm gonna roll through, rock my wrist to my hips. And you notice I'm gonna have a little play here. So, I'm on a rounded surface, I'm not on a flat surface. So, scoop out those abs, and I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna release. Stay round and stay scooped. I want you to exhale as you pull. And then inhale, release. Go ahead, do it again. Now, if you can, take the heels off the floor, tip of the toes. So now you're gonna test, you're gonna tax that ab, <laughs> tax those abs a little bit more. Good, good, good. Contracting the shoulder blades. Good. And then just about four more. Four. Good. Exhale, pull. Three. Two. And now I'm going to pull and I'm going to hold. So I want to hold this. Now I'm going to start to round over the ball or arch my back. I'm going to go as low as I can. And then I'm going to scoop up and come up. Rock the rip to the hip coming up. So it's technically a crunch. Inhale. Keeping the tension on the towel. Or the band, if you have that band. Exhale. And again, inhale. Now you're testing your back. Exhale. Good, inhale. And exhale. Now if that feels okay, I'm gonna start to go a little bit deeper. Arms stay in the same plane. See that little more of an arch? And then come back up. Keeping that tension on the band of the towel. Go as deep or as low as you can. Depends on your back, depends on your core. Now, the stronger your back, the stronger your core. So if this doesn't work for you, keep it where it feels best for you today. Exhale, it's a rainy day. Does your body react on a rainy day? Does it not like you like mine? I used to laugh, my mother could tell the weather with her back. How about two more here? Exhale's up. Good, 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 how about one more? Perfect, how do we do? Let's go ahead and get rid of that off to the side. Go ahead and shake it out, round over if you need to. Good, now we're gonna shake this out. All right, so hamstrings, glutes on your backs. If you wanna utilize the ball, go great. If you don't, feet are flat on the floor. I'm gonna take my ball, so it's down here at my ankles. So I'm gonna lie all the way down. Let me see if I can get side this for you guys. So I'm going to roll all the way back down. So now I'm going to take my ball underneath my feet. I'm going to push my feet in. I'm going to flex, push my heels down. Hands beside my hips on the floor. My head's going down. Squeeze your thighs together. Hollow out those abs and continue lifting up, pushing the hips to the sky. Your hamstrings are going to ignite.
right immediately and drop it down on your inhale. Your head should be down. Exhale, flexing those feet, pushing those heels deep into the ball. Or your feet are just flat on the floor. Good, good, good. Exhale, left. And inhales down. How about three more? Lift it up. And inhales down. Good. How about two more? Inhales down. Can you give me just one more? Exhale, lift. And then bring it back down. Good. How those hands? Count those hands. Now, I'm going to pick the ball up. I'm going to put it between my ankles. You don't have to utilize the ball. Arms are going to come out to my sides in a T hole. So you want to make sure there's nothing in your way. So get those arms out. Press those palms down. Get the knees right in line with the hips. Press those arms all the way out. Contract the shoulder blades. Point your toes. Now the ball is going to create that unstable surface. If you don't have a ball, your feet are just side by side. Perfectly fine. Right? Or you can always use a towel or your yoga block. From here, I want you to inhale and spinal rotate. Let the knees drop to one side. Go as low as you can without collapsing to the floor. And then exhale back up into the center. And then you're going to do that again to the other side. Inhale, drop. And exhale back up. And again, to the right or to your left. Inhale as you drop. Now you can go all the way down to tapping that knee on the floor if you've got that ability. Press the palms down, shoulders down. And exhales back up. Now we're going to do that again, squeezing the ball. And now I want you to lift your head and look at your knees and then lengthen the, lengthen the legs. And now everything bends and goes back to the center. And then go to the other side. Get there first. Then look at the knees and then lengthen the legs. And then bring them back together. Now let's do it again on the first side. Now, if you want to lift a little bit more, try it by the outer hand. Lift the shoulder, contract a little bit more into the core, and then lengthen the legs. Now, on this one here, you kind of got to decide how much or how little you're going to go and where you can go safely. And then slowly bring it back. And then to the other side. There first. Then again, a little lift, tripod the outer hand, look a little higher, maybe you're not. Lengthen out those legs. Good, good, good. And you decide how much, how little, and then bend it, come back down. Now, you can come all the way up to the palm. So as you drop, tripod that hand. Now we're going to lift and look and lengthen all at the same time. And you're going to come up as high as you want to come up. Maybe you stay here on your elbow. Maybe you stay here. It's okay. And then bring it back into the center. Bend those knees. And then again to the second side. Get there first. Try to the outer hand. Decide how high or low you're coming up. And again, you decide. Maybe you're staying on your elbow. Maybe you're staying all the way down. It's okay. Bend and come back. And we've got to go one more. Inhale as you drop. Try upon it. Lift and look. Maybe you come up on both fingertips. You decide. It's your workout. And then bring it back down. And then to the other side. Get there first. Lift and look. How high or how low? You decide. And then bring it back. Got it. Bring that ball. Hug it in. A little rock side to side.
brush to the super glue, Gorilla Glue. I don't care what you have to do. Use your glue gun. Take your right leg, point your toe, and then roll the knee away so the inner thighs are squeezing together. Now, head comes down. Curl the arms, push them over the head. Take a breath and inhale here. Now you're gonna exhale. The arms are gonna come out and around, and you're gonna come up just a little. Notice I'm not sitting all the way up here. I wanna stay down into my core. Inhale back and around. Exhale, come up with that back arch. Good, now if you'd like to, you can lift both legs up, keep the right leg up, but you can add the left leg up as you come up, and then put the left leg right back down. You decide, you're halfway there, you've got three more. And again, exhale as you come up. One more time. Now, as we go down, we're gonna switch legs. Right leg goes down, left leg comes up, and we're ready to go. Rolling that knee out right away. And again, if you wanted to, you can lift both legs up as you come up, and then put it down as you go down. And again, making sure that you're not plopping down, and keep the work in the abs. Make sure you don't take the work out of the abs by sitting up too high. Three more to go. Side and the 
tip of the thumb, or you can be flat, whatever feels best for you. Now, lift the chest, give me an arch, point the toes. Now you gotta get rid of the arch, so squeeze the hiney, let the ribs fly into the hips. Now, open up those legs. Heels together, toes turned out. Now, we're gonna lift up, right leg first, up and down for six. Six, five, four, three, two, and now we're gonna go right into your left leg, no break. One, two, three, four, point the toe, five, and six. Now right leg for four, four, three, two, good, and one. Left side, four, three, good, two more, two, and one. Now the right leg for two, one, two, left leg for two. Uh-oh, now we have four singles. One, left leg, good, 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 right leg. Try not to shrug, good, 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 two more. Each leg super straight, yes or no. Good, 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 and last one. Perfect, all right, round it over. Perfect. Take your right hand behind, left on the outside, little spinal rotation here. And I believe we're all done. I think we're good. 45 minutes, no, oh my gosh, that was an hour. That was an hour. I was only gonna do 45 minutes. Flip it around. Sorry, not sorry. Good, usually the music cuts out, shake it out. So make sure you stretch a little bit more if you need to, guys. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're utilizing the workouts. Make sure you revisit and check them out on the YouTube or um, just on my Facebook channel because I do save these and um, I share them. Feel free to share them. Um, hey guys, oh, so excited. The only good thing that's coming out of this is I get to see people that I haven't seen for a while. They get to log on and work out with me that have either gone to another gym, which is fine, or are out of state or out of uh, town. So that's the only good thing. So guys, make sure you keep moving. Stay well, stay safe. Reach out if you need somebody to talk to, if you're having a really bad day. Um, it's not getting much easier. It is actually getting harder. Uh, I went to the bank today and the, my favorite teller, I, we've had this bank for 30 years. Her husband uh, works out of state and he can't leave. He can't come home. So she's by herself. So she actually looks forward to going into work for that interaction because she works at the bank. Anyway, if you're not an essential worker, reach out, utilize social media, utilize the Zooms. I have yet to figure that out and I will if it kills me before this is all done. And definitely utilize all the other instructors' workouts. You have, oh my God, so many different formats and people, maybe it's instructors that don't teach at your gym anymore. Um, utilize it, take advantage. And then, you know, reach out, give us a knuckle touch, give us a thumbs up, give us a heart. Be safe. I'm so happy to be here and help you with your goals keeps me sane. Guys, have a great day. Thanks again for coming in. Bye.